Good morning, afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you have not seen my face before and you end up enjoying this video, before you go, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. It's completely free. I make a lot of lifestyle content, a lot of cooking, sometimes some fashion, home decor, fun stuff like that. So it would mean a lot to me if you stuck around. We have a fun day today, you guys. I'm very excited. As you can tell by the title, we are making a a copycat version at home version of the Taco Bell BV Nacho Grillers now if you're like what is that if you've been to Taco Bell and you've never had those they are my favorite they are so good basically it's just beef some tortilla strips nacho cheese I think that's it and then you wrap it in a tortilla and then you grill it on each side it is so good and so we're having a fun little night with Zane's side of the family and we're gonna like all cook it together and like make it together so it's gonna be a fun family thing i got so much done today already it is already 325 um so i feel really nice and like relaxed and like i can just enjoy the night i got a video up i got some instagram stuff done and a lot of just like random things on the computer and i just feel so good that now I can just enjoy the rest of the day, you know? I wanted to give a Dyson Air Wrap update as well. So my hair right now, I've, I've been experimenting. I have spent probably way too long watching YouTube tutorials and TikToks on people using it because it's not for everybody's hair. Like, let's be honest, it's like skincare, hair products, like everybody is different. So it's not all gonna work the same for everyone. So I really wanted to make sure that I try it a lot in a lot of different ways with a lot of different products and make sure that I really like it because obviously it's definitely a little bit of an investment. What I did right now, if you follow me on Instagram, then you saw this on my stories. I shared it on there. So if you're not following me there, sometimes I share random things like this. So last night I washed my hair and I put in like a cream. I will link it down below. It's by Shea Moisture, I think it's called. So I put that in my hair while it was wet. Then I took the uh, attachment that is the blow dryer and I did my hair really roughly. I put my head upside down. I did it really roughly and I did it until my hair was like pretty much almost dry that's how I've seen all the tutorials I think the first time I used it my hair was actually too wet and I thought it had to be wetter so I blew it dry it pretty dry then I took the flat regular brush and I kind of ran that because my hair tends to be naturally frizzy so I kind of wanted to tame it down up here so I ran that through my hair and then I sectioned it off into two sections so I clipped the top up and I used the small barrel and what I did was I did 10 seconds on high heat and then I did 10 seconds on cool I turned it off and I let it fall and what you get are like these really tight little ringlets and I just left it like I didn't touch it so I did my bottom layer I clipped it up I took out down my top layer did the same exact thing and then I sprayed it with uh, a comb through mist it's by Nexus I believe I'll put all the products that I use down below I let it cool for a while and since I was experimenting I wanted to run my fingers through it a little bit to see if I did this like in the morning and left it all day if it would look nice um, but I think it would have like actually held better if I just didn't run my fingers through but again I just wanted to see what it looked like so I ran my fingers through and it looked so pretty and i was like i wonder like if i sleep on it because i tend to be like a night shower more than like a morning one now that i go to the gym it's kind of like half and half but i prefer to shower at night so doing my hair at night would be ideal if i can make it last till the morning and it definitely was more curly last night i will say that but my hair is so fine and thin it does not hold a curl with so many different types of curly irons like it's really hard for it to hold a curl and I slept on it and this morning you guys I did nothing to it I didn't do any touch-ups I didn't put any any product in now if I was gonna wear this all day I'm about to cook so I'm gonna clip my hair up that's why I didn't do anything to it but I did want to show you like right here I could probably touch up this curl and like touch it up a little bit but I love this like blowout look like I feel like I haven't seen my hair have this much volume in a long time Like it, I feel like it looks really good in my opinion Like again, I could probably touch up over here It looks a little bit crimpy from sleeping on it But I'm highly impressed and I'm really excited to keep using it more It probably took me about 15 to 20 minutes from like start to finish But now that I know the technique that I did I could probably do it in like 10 which is so good it's just really doable and the fact that i did this yesterday and slept on it, it's still here like the first time i did it it immediately fell but i feel like the technique that i used this time it's starting to work like i definitely can make more steps in the right direction but i'm very impressed i love the blowout look so that's my update on the dyson so far i told you guys that i would keep you updated because um i want to be able to tell you my thoughts in case you guys have like similar hair to me and you don't know if you want to invest in it or not it is in stock at ulta right now i will say 
that and I'm pretty sure they'll take returns on it so if you did want to try it I'll leave my link down below for it I know kind of just explaining and showing photos isn't that much of a help so if you guys are genuinely interested I can do um, a video and like show you actually how I got here if you're interested let me know in the comments uh, okay so, I think we're ready to start this vlog now. I'm gonna pull my hair back and we're gonna like uh, tidy up the kitchen, wipe down the counters before I start cooking. We're making the grillers with Zane's family, but on the side, I'm gonna make some quote, and I quote, it's not authentic Spanish rice. Um, I wung this, uh, wung this, wung, wung this. That always sounds so weird when I say that. It's not winged, it's wung, right? Right. I made this <laughs> Spanish rice on a whim a few weeks ago and it may not be authentic, but it was really simple and it's really delicious. So I'm sure you guys have other amazing authentic recipes that I'm sure are beautiful and just as amazing. But I want to share this one with you guys because it was really simple and I really like the way that it tasted. I'm going to hope that it comes out the same because I shared it on my Instagram story, but I didn't write down like step by step. I kind of just wrote down my ingredients and kind of threw them together. So we're going to hope that it comes out just as good. If it doesn't, then we'll just like pretend I didn't make it. But it should be fine. Also, the last time I made it, I made chicken thighs in the skillet and then I made the rice in that. So that probably added a lot of flavor. So we'll see. We're going to mess around with it, but it was really yummy last time I made it. So I'm excited to try that out. So we're going to prep that and then we'll cook the other things when everybody is here. I also want to have Zane's little sister and his mom try out the Dyson Airwrap. I want to see what they think of it too. So maybe we'll experiment with that. I did a clip instead of a scrunchie so that I wouldn't like ruin it. So we'll see how it stays like this. Um, also, outfit of the day. My my whole outfit actually is from Princess Polly. These sweatpants are everything. They are so soft on the inside, so comfy. And then just like a simple black crop top. And then I'm wearing my little slippers from Amazon. And that's that, my little comfy outfit to hang, chill, cook, but I feel cute. Okay, quick little tidy up and then we'll start. Solo un rayo del sol Cambia el tiempo en el reloj Hoy mis deudas reciben perdón that's it for now. Wipe down all the counters and everything. I'll finish up the dishes once I'm done, like with this, because I'm gonna use a cutting board for like onions and stuff. So we'll just do that after. So what I'm using is just basic instant white rice. This is so easy because it cooks so fast. I need a box cutter. Why did I like package this up like someone was gonna steal my rice? <laughs> So yeah, super simple. I'm literally just following the box's instructions. I'm making the six serving. So it's three cups of rice, three cups of water, just even. And literally you bring the water to a boil, you stir in the rice and cover it, and then you take it off the heat for five minutes. That's it. You literally don't even have to let it sit in there. It's so good. One cup, two cups, and three cups. Here's what we got going on according to my Instagram story. This is on my recipes highlight. We've got some tomato, bell pepper, onion, garlic, chicken bouillon cube, sazon seasoning, forgive me if I pronounced that wrong, some cilantro and some adobo, and then the rice. <laughs> I also put here that I added chicken broth, but I'm just gonna be doing some water and some bouillon cubes today. So let's get to chopping. And this is actually boiling, so I'm gonna add the rice and then we'll prep everything. Set a timer for five minutes. Here is the progress so far. I honestly can't tell you how long I've been doing this. I don't remember <laughs> when I started, but just do it until everything kind of sautés together. I added in the garlic last so that it doesn't burn. Now we're gonna add in the chicken bouillon and all of the seasonings and let it all kind of marinate together. Also, I didn't count how many little mini tomatoes I did, but probably maybe about 15-ish. We're gonna add in about a half a cup of water and I'm gonna add my bouillon cube. I'm gonna bring it to like a little bit of a light simmer and I'm gonna make sure that this bouillon cube gets dissolved. You could also put the water in the microwave with the bouillon cube in it and dissolve it like that, but I'm just doing it all one pan. But obviously I don't want this water to stay in here, so I am gonna bring it to a simmer, let it kind of dissolve. Also, once it gets like softened, you should be able to start like 
kind of breaking it up with the spatula. There we go, see it's turning into like a powder. Mix it in. You know what, I probably would have done a little bit less water as well, so if you make this a little less water, I'm gonna let that kind of simmer out and then we'll add the other seasoning. Okay, here we go. We're adding in a full packet of Sazon. Some cilantro and some adobo. Mix that all in. Okay, I hope my ratios and everything are right because this is my first time. Well, I made it last time, but I don't really remember how I made it. And I only made it with a little bit of rice, so hopefully this is good enough for all of this rice. We're adding her in. Okay, we're gonna stir this all together. Okay, it definitely got all evenly covered with everything. I have a feeling I'm gonna wanna add another packet of Sazon, so we're gonna give it a taste, probably some more salt. Let's see. I feel like it's gonna need more moisture and like some more oil, you know? Mmm. We're on the right path. Definitely another packet. <laughs> I'm gonna throw in some vegetable oil, another packet of Sazon. Again, last time I made it for literally two servings, so. I gotta adjust. Okay, this might sound crazy, but I'm adding one more packet. It's a lot of rice in here, and I feel like it just needs more oomph, more flavor. I also added some more adobo and some salt, and now I think it should be good. It also gives it that really nice orange color, you know? <laughs> it's looking better. Mm-hmm. Way better. Mm. I'm gonna throw in a little bit more salt, and then she's good. I'm actually gonna transfer this back into the pot that we cooked the rice in, because we, we're gonna wanna use this for the beef when we make the other stuff. So I'm gonna wash this out and then this will be good to go in this pot. So wish me luck. All right, this is heavy. Okay. Okay, last thing I promise, cause I just really want it to not get dry. I'm adding in like a half a tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna let it like melt in there. I really want it to be like nice and moist, you know? All right, everything is clean, prepped, smelling good, ready to go. I took my hair out of the clip, by the way, and still feel like it's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and start setting up the food stuff and make, like, little stations so that we can, like, I don't know, I just want to, like, put out, put out all the ingredients and make it, like, a fun little event like you know we gotta have fun nowadays we've only got limited amounts of fun so i found this blue tablecloth <laughs> i'm gonna put it on this table and set up everything on here we are gonna start cooking when everybody gets here in about a half an hour however by the way zane is working out that's where he is um the only thing really for this recipe to actually cook is the beef so we'll make that and then really you just put on like the nacho cheese and everything i'm sure i won't take you step by step because it's going to be kind of hectic but i'll of course link the recipe down below and try to bring you along on what i can you know <laughs> I 
Alrighty, so I'm about to put the chips in the bowls. These actually were good, the tortilla chips, so we'll put some of those out. I got everything laid out, the seasoning that we need for the beef, I got all the measuring stuff, the tortilla strips, everything, the griddle, so I can plug it in right there. We got the spray, the plates, cups, everything set up over here. And then I also just made two drinks, so we have a strawberry watermelon. It's actually from Target. I haven't tried it yet, but it's really good. I just put like a bunch of squirts of it in that container, and then I made some lemonade, and we have water. We don't have any soda or anything, but we got the rice. We'll start heating that up when we're almost ready to eat. And yeah, so we're gonna put on some nice music and we're gonna cook. que corra más a veces yo soy yo yo voy a ser otro yo a veces yo soy yo yo voy a ser otro yo los frenos os arranqué el riesgo me cae bien los frenos os arranqué el riesgo me cae bien it looks like the weight the the way for crackers oh i didn't realize that you know the way sugar wafer crackers like waffle yeah waffle mint oh ah so it comes with all these different attachments. This is the blow dryer brush. And then it comes with two like straightening brushes. This is like the thing that you attach everything to. And then it comes with like two different sized barrels and like two of each of them. So like when you want to curl away from your face, you have to switch them for each side of your head, you know? Okay. And then this is the blow dryer. Mm. It's actually so strong though. It dried my hair yesterday so fast. First brush your hair. Oh my God, this is a mess too. Oh my god, you're really seeing the real me today. I'll do a little bit of the straightening one. Okay. I don't, I've never done somebody else's hair, I don't think. Oh my god, I love when people play with my hair. Yeah, you do, you said that. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's working well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That. So you take your piece of hair and you hold it like four, about four inches. Oh my god, your hair's so long. <laughs> four inches. Ready? Wow. And then I cool blast it. This is what I did yesterday. And then you turn it off. And then you let it go. Wow. Wow. Is it curly? Now turn it all the way down. Turn it all the way off. Okay. Okay, and now pull it down. Straight down. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So I let them set really ringy like that, and then I brush them out. And it stayed. Wow. See how easy? Wait, this is going towards my face? Well, That's okay. going away from your face. Right. You should do with your bitches, side bangs. These bitches need yep. to get out of my face. There you go, look. It's pretty easy to figure out too, I feel like. It really is. Okay. So there you go. This is like the length of my hair. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And I usually section my hair into two, too. Like if you really wanted to do your whole head, like I would put up half your hair. Yeah. yeah. And then pull down. It kind of vibrates a little. She likes it. <laughs> See, wow. your bang, I would use the blow dryer, the blowout brush too. Oh, but even this, look at it. It's so pretty. Now I get why people said to like give it time. Cause the first two times I used it, I was like, eh, it's all right. But now that I'm like actually like really like experimenting with it, I'm starting to really love it. Damn, too bad your birthday just passed. <laughs> Why not? Heart attack I would have had. Yeah. Not if we all split it. That's how much we spent on like the trip thing. Well, yeah, I guess everybody. Yeah. Listen, if I get a job that I need to look professional, <laughs> then you'll use I it. Have a birthday next year. I'll just say, hey guys, can I come to my hair? <laughs> yeah, literally, you could just borrow it. All right, 20 minutes. This just simmered with the seasoning mixture and some water. Whoa. Be looking like Taco Bell beef, yo. I'm gonna warm up the rice and then we're ready to go. Baby, yeah. I don't know if you're gonna be able to track oh, this rice. Oh, who's ready? Almost. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna track. I'm just gonna use my brain tool. All right. My mom is loving the air wrap. My mom? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go see. We're over here, yo. Let me know if you. Holy shit! <laughs> It's sick. She's a fan. Look, I you're almost if done. I was, like a professional job. Mm -hmm. This is something like if I had a like look. Like I to be on camera every day. Yeah. Yeah. But if I had ah, like working in an office or something. Okay. I'm really curious to see if it's make, gonna hold. Do they make a straightener version of that, or it's only curls? Oh, oh it's, no, it's in, oh, in like two seconds. Yeah, it straightened her hair. My in two hair, seconds. if I blow dry my hair with a regular blow dryer, it takes forever and it always comes frizzy looking. Yeah. This thing made it look so smooth in like two seconds. This wow. thing, it like tames it and like straightens it and 
defrizzes it. I don't it know how. Sick. It's sick, yeah. And look, that was like 20 minutes and they're basically done. And wow. once you get more used to it, you do it faster, too, you know? I look fancy. I look like something fancy. Those came out wow. amazing. It looks great. That is so, wow, incredible. Yeah. And easy. Turn around, let me see from the back. I mean, yeah. It's so hard to see because your hair is black. <laughs> it's like shadowing. Shit. No, it's pretty. It looks really good. We'll wow. see if it lasts. And then I you, feel like... Maybe like a little bit of an oil for the frizziness up here, but... I feel fancy. Oh, good. All right, let's get the riddle starting to heat up. Oh, no, they play... Hello. It looks pretty. <laughs> so, you look beautiful. Of course I do. The more you... <laughs> <laughs> the more you use it, too, the more you get used to it. Sure. See, you know, it's funny. I was thinking the other day. I wonder. I say, I wonder how the curly hair will look. I think you curled my hair for my birthday ever. It looks good. You know that number? We do trunk that day. Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it says beef, cheese, and then tortilla strips. I don't know if it really matters, but that's what it says. Not cheese first. I know why. Because it'll just go Salty. right here. Yeah. But wouldn't the beef too? Oh, are these the jalapeno chips in the pool? Yeah. Take one down, pass it around. How many tortillas are on plates? Hello, give this to somebody. Nah, that should be illegal. I know, that shit's fire. Uh, Did you heat up the nacho cheese in the microwave less? No, mom. Okay, I've been saying this for so long that we should do some sort of like assembly night dinner. Like one to every Well, here we are. Okay, I put so uh, bacon on it. It was so good. It was only like 390 calories. <laughs> If you get that in the restaurant, right it's just gonna be 1200 calories. You know? Yeah, the rest of We're making beefy nacho yeah. grillers from Taco Bell. I mean, I'm so good, but it's not. Oh my god! It's calories. Los frenos os arranqué, el riesgo me cae bien. Los frenos os arranqué, el riesgo me cae bien. The baby nacho rollers are way smaller. We're right. definitely making them like burritos. Oh, this is yours. It's nice and crunchy. I know I put it on there a while ago. Oh my god, I'm gonna burn my mouth if I do that. Let me see the cross section, Aaliyah. Hold on. You gotta do it for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Ooh. I put a lot of tortillas up in mine. Yo, no, baby, it's not amazing. You like it? Yeah. Does it taste like Taco Bell? Kinda, yeah. Kinda. Oh, you could dip it in more nacho cheese too. You should. I gotta try it. I wanna try it. Are you guys in here? Mmm. Am I gonna be a party pooper if I go over there? Oh. Is it delicious? Does it taste just like Taco Bell? No, I need to put more tortillas. Theirs are, I'm telling you, theirs are like Fritos. They're like big and thick. There it goes. I'm putting more tortillas in here. I love that like crunch the of it. Crunch of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. are really good, but I still have to take you to get the beefy nacho grillers. Dip in more cheese too. <laughs> Even better when you get more towards the middle, you know? Thanks, Les. You're welcome, thanks for cooking with me. Mm-hmm. Yep, more cheese and more tortilla. Because we put a lot of meat in it. Mm. Have we ever had them before? Maybe tomorrow will have them. Tomorrow? Bring me with you. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're a lot smaller. They're like little, like, I think they're like dollar menu, maybe. Yeah. What, Taco Bell? The beefy nacho grillers here. They're yeah. like, That's they're like little. this, this skinny and they're long. But burritos are too, very, too little. No, the burritos are big, I thought. That's like normal people size, though. We just like to <laughs> we used the chipotle burritos. No, no. I got one, like, for lunch. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you definitely need more than just a burrito for And Taco they give me a little burrito and, yeah. and a taco. I'm like, you serious? <laughs> so, realistically, we could make this for ground beef, uh, ground turkey, mm -hmm. right? This is the, the carb. We're also using the carb tortillas, too, yeah. Right, carb tortillas. We could definitely make this, like... A healthier version. Mm -hmm. I mean, this still is 96 lean beef. Yeah, no, it's still, it's delicious. Yeah, I'm sure Taco Bell is not using 96% lean beef or the carb smart tortillas, so it's gonna taste a little different. What a good idea. Mm -hmm. I know, we should do this more often. Next time we'll do pizzas. Down for that. This, where's the cheese? That cheese is incredible. I know. And it's got a nice kick, but it's not spicy, so I don't Really, I don't feel a kick. Maybe I just had a mouthful of the, the cheese. Mm -hmm. But not the cheese has some peppers and jalapenos in it. Do you get a bite of that? That's yeah, good. I like that one, but I like the queso blanco better. Really? I feel like they're both just incredible. I like this one a lot. This one's bomb. I would definitely buy this again. I'm gonna buy both. Okay.
Trata de festejar, celebramos el bienestar Tantas estrellas brillan, quiero un carro que corra más Nada me rompe, no, no, nada me rompe Trata de festejar, celebramos el bienestar Check it out, check it out everybody On a roll with the clean kitchen Everything worked out great. We had a little bit of leftover, some leftover rice. Everybody loved it. And some leftover meat. And of course, we got all the things, the cheeses still, but they're like almost empty, the t two of them, I think. Okay, that doesn't really matter. Over explaining, Bailey, Benji. Where's Belle? She was just here. Getting ready to go to bed. Okay. I just brushed my teeth. I had to take off my makeup. Ready for bed? Let's go. It is 11.20. I'm absolutely exhausted. We played Scrabble and it was so fun. Me, Zane, Amani, and Aaliyah, his two younger siblings. It was a lot of fun, but it takes a long time actually, Scrabble. And so I started falling asleep like two hours ago. So I'm freaking exhausted, but it was so much fun. We had such a great time. I just brushed my teeth and put in my retainer. So that's why I'm talking funny. Gym at 8.30 a.m. tomorrow, so I gotta go to bed right now. I'm gonna take off my makeup, hop into PJs, and snuggle up. I'm so excited. I love getting into bed. It's like the best thing ever. I don't know if I filmed a lot today so sorry if it's kind of short but um <laughs> lovely i had a great day and i had fun cooking with you guys so i hope you enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye guys <laughs>